Hi guys, as promised, um, this is a comparison between um, the two large XL Grande Giant um, Fendi Zuka handbags. I did mention before that um, I would do a comparison between these two Fendi huge bags, but um, I didn't have the time. So here we go. So the one on the left is a Fendi Zuka Chef handbag, and the one on the right is actually a Fendi, um, they call it a, a buckle bag. Okay, so these two Fendi handbags are in the Zuka pattern, which is the hottest um, Fendi pattern um, right now. And um, I think a Zucchina is uh, the next one, but uh, this has been revived uh, time and again. And this is called the uh, Zuka uh, tobacco print or br brown tobacco pattern. Okay, so these two are very, very big handbags. And um, I don't think um, I am going to keep them just because I don't actually need to have such a massive handbag. <laughs> but um, we'll see. I'm trying to um, get rid of uh, some of them. I might consign it to the real real. Okay, so... The Fendi Zuka Chef handbag. This is the grande or large handbag. I've made separate uh, videos on on uh, these handbags already. So if you're interested, you can just go, uh, just browse through my channel. Okay, so th this is huge, guys. And this is in a patent leather, brown, shiny, um, patent leather with brass hardware. It's not gold, it's kind of bronze to brass uh, hardware. And it doesn't have any feet studs at all. So this is a very, very collapsible handbag. And uh, because it's patent leather, it's a bit, which is normal for patent leather, it's a bit, um, you know, sticky. Uh, patent leather tends to do that unless it's a very very structured handbag okay and this is called the, the chef handbag and um, you would know it because of this logo the this charm which is huge it's probably like two inches in length this is a huge Fendi Fendi logo okay so the um, the uh, pros on this uh, <laughs> pros on this bag um, it's very, very light, it's super light, and uh, it's collapsible, so if you have storage um, space problems, so um, it's not going to be a problem, so you can just, uh, you know, wrinkle it or whatever you want to do with it, so it's not going to um, affect the uh, shape of the bag at all. And it's huge, I would say this is a traveler's traveler's handbag so if we look at the uh, measurements i think this is 19 inches guys across it's 19 inches and um i believe the height is uh, one one i mean one foot or 12 inches and of course the width is like you know this can expand so it's probably you can Look at that, it's like six to seven inches and it's not even, uh, it's not even um, stuffed. So the width, as you can see, can always, um, you know, expand and... <sighs> All right, so there you go. So there is a lining, I mean, in between seam here. This is actually in mint condition. I bought these bags in mint condition, guys. And um, this, the, the sides... <coughs> But what I would say is that my only criticism on this handbag, you know, guys, is the the um, the patent leather because it, it is sticky and the color. Guys, the color of this leather is like, it's dirty. Well, the print, the tobacco zuka brown is like, you know, it's dirty as is looking. But this one, guys, it looks like a toad. 
and um, I don't like it. It gives me like goosebumps, and um, it, it it's the color is like a toad. So I'm like ick by that, and I really don't like the color. However, because uh, you know that's because that's the accent of the bag. So um, yeah. Anyway, and um, one one um, advantage or pro would be um, I like. It's a zipper top pull. However, it doesn't go through all the way. So it doesn't close completely. So I think it's for easy, easy access. You can just, you know, put your bottle of water or you can just uh, stick your hand in there for convenience or easy access. But uh, I still feel like, you know, it's not that secure. But hey, you know, it has a, a zipper top already. So this is the only thing that I don't like. But of course, it wouldn't retain its chef uh, zuka sh uh, shape if uh, you know the, the 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 zipper was all the way. All right, so this is why it's called a chef chef's handbag. A chef handbag because of the shape. It looks like a chef's hat over here. Okay, so there you go. So I think um, it. Uh, I think they do have um, a smaller size. Of course, they do have a smaller size, but this one is, well, I would say, ideal for traveling. And I, I think ideal for, for a diaper bag or like if you're going somewhere. This is not formal. This is a very, very casual handbag. So you can just wear it any, anywhere, anytime. Now let's go to this uh, um, handbag. This one looks a bit classier, I would say, just because of the features. And it has a buckle. Uh, one one uh, a viewer of mine uh, told me that this is a buckle bag, of course, because I wasn't sure what uh, the um, the model was. So I just love this detailing here, guys. The brass detailing here and the pewter um, um, handle straps. There you go. So, and um, you can close this if you want and the back is plain both sides have uh, this closure so it, it becomes a bowler bowler shape and of course one good thing about this is that it has uh, feet studs and it also has a base shaper so this is a bit um, stiff but not completely super stiff so you can still, you know, bend it. But um, I think it still adds structure to the bag. And because of the versatility of the, you know, handbag, this handbag, because of the shape, it looks like Louis Vuitton or the uh, Le Pillage uh, Longchamp if, you know, it's like a fly, whatever, uh, <laughs> bag there. Okay, so uh, I, when I made this review, I said that uh, I'm not really, really big on, um, I like this. However, this is very, very heavy and just gets in the way. Every time you open this, you have to unsnap this. It has a magnetic closure. And then since this is closed completely, so you'll be doing all that ritual, all that stuff before you could get into your bag. So I would say just don't... Oh, does it... Uh, it's okay. You, you can just... You see? It's magnetic, so it just automatically closes. So you, re you have no choice but to do that and then open this. Okay. But I would say this is uh, ideal for traveling. Traveling because uh, your things would be really, really safe and secure. Nothing is going to fall out. Okay, so... Oh, I did not show you the interior of the other bag. Okay, so this is the interior of this bag. So it's just brown and it has the plaque that says made in Italy and um, it has the it has the um, serial number here. It's uh, the same kind of leather. It's like a scratch up uh, brown leather, whatever the material here is. And it also has this authenticity and a hologram and all that. So 
Um, I like this because you can clean the interior of the bag uh, easily. And uh, let me just show you the interior of this handbag. You have to open it. And interior is uh, quite the same. All right, it's quite the same. And uh, uh, it just has a bit of dust over there. And it has the Made in Italy uh, plaque here. You can see that, Made in Italy plaque. And uh, let me see where the... Oh, it's inside. And this one, the interior, uh, zip, the zippered pocket has the authenticity and the hologram. And this one. Oh, how come this is black? Okay, so uh, I guess um, I guess the, the the leather where they put the serial number doesn't have to uh, be the same color because I thought it was going to be the same. So this is in black. So um, yeah, this is in black, but this one is close to to the other one is close to black so it doesn't have to be the same uh, material as this and of course you have to take note that the 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 under underneath the zipper is FF underneath the zipper is FF so so um, yeah there you go so the the Zucker chef large gra large or grande is uh, um, two inches wider this one is 17 inches okay so um, so I would say this is bigger of course the Zuka chef is bigger but uh, um, they're still big guys <laughs> this one is a little bit uh, more it has more added um, pizzas so I like this better. It's just that I just don't like this one. It's just too, too, too heavy. And it's just an inconvenience for me. Okay, so there you go, guys. I would, um, I would prefer to get the medium size, guys. And um, I think I, I prefer this, this um, Zuka Chef, but uh, not in the patent leather and definitely not in this uh, kind of lining because there are other Zuka Chefs that uh, I'll just get the plain leather, not this one because the problem with um, patent leather is if it gets scratched, then it's, it's just hard to repair and um, they don't repair it anyway. So there you go, guys. Bye.